Hey guys, welcome back to uh, part two to my Hellacious DVD Blu-ray VHS update. Uh, I've got a, uh, quite a few more to go through here. Don't have to fly through them quite as fast as I did in part one, but uh, I want to be sure and get them all included in uh, before time runs out here. Um, if you recall me saying in uh, part one there, I was working on my Western collection here lately, uh, trying to uh, get all my Clint Eastwood Westerns and all my favorite Westerns. <clears throat> and uh, Actually got uh, let's see one two three four five, six six westerns here that I've been wanting to get. I got uh, Clint Eastwood's Hang 'em High. Clint Eastwood's Outlaw the Outlaw Josie Wells. Clint Eastwood's Pale Rider. One of my favorite uh, <clears throat> spaghetti westerns of all time, uh, Once Upon a Time in the West, with Charles Bronson, uh, also has uh, Henry Fonda, it's a classic, classic western. If you've not seen this, if you're a western fan and not seen this, check this one out. And, finally, found Young Guns. Young Guns 2. Classic 80s westerns. Actually, Part 2, I think, came out in 90 or 91. But Part 2 came out in 88. Yeah. Alright, here's a few more. I uh, actually found this at the pawn shop. A few days ago, and I couldn't believe that I've, I've actually never seen this. I'm ashamed to say that it's a Stephen King film, but I've never actually sat down and watched the entire thing. Stephen King's Storm of the Century, it's the complete entire miniseries. It's still sealed, has never even been taken out of the plastic. Got this for two dollars. Couldn't pass this up. Picked up one of my favorite Ray Harryhausen movies, uh, it's called The Mysterious Island. I was really happy to find this. I found this of all places. I found it at Walmart for five dollars. Um, this is an awesome movie. It's the sequel to uh, Jules Verne's Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. This picks up where that film leaves off, and you find out what happens to Captain Nemo and what he's been doing this whole time uh, after what happens after the novel. And uh, it's really cool. Uh, of course, I'm a big Ray Harryhausen fan. I love Clash of the Titans, Jason and the Argonauts, all of the Sinbad movies. So this is just another awesome movie in his uh, in his career that he did. <clears throat> this movie's not out on DVD yet. Uh, it's not even, uh, and it's only playing in a few select theaters across the United States as of now. This is actually, I believe, a Canadian import, and uh, I was real happy to find this. This is George Romero's Survival of the Dead. This is his newest zombie movie, and his zombie, uh, his new zombie trilogy, I guess you would say. Uh, this is his sixth zombie film. I watched this uh, not too long ago. It's not, it's not great. It's not bad. It's kind of somewhere in between. I did like it better than Diary of the Dead, but I didn't quite like it as good as Land of the Dead. It's, uh, it's a mediocre film. It's not his, it's, it's not his best work by any means, but it's not bad. Uh, it's definitely worth a look. I was just uh, really, really excited to finally sit down and watch this. I actually found this, got this from a guy at the flea market. So, uh, check it out. And I ordered this off Amazon.com. This is the Nightmare on Elm Street documentary uh, called Never Sleep Again, The Elm Street Legacy. If you're a Nightmare on Elm Street fan, you have to pick this up. I cannot recommend this enough. This is chock full of everything, anything you ever possibly ever wanted to know about Nightmare on Elm Street. It's, I mean, I could just go on and on and on and on and on about, I could do an entire video on just this documentary. Just trust me, if you're a Nightmare on Elm Street fan or just a horror fan in general, get this. You will not be disappointed.
All right, and the last few here are just a bunch of random DVDs, no particular order, uh, just a bunch of random stuff that I found here and there. I uh, found this at Walmart, the Leprechaun Trilogy. It has Leprechaun 1, 2, and 3 in it. Got this for like $7. Couldn't pass it up. Uh, I was not a big, big fan of the Leprechaun after the third one, so I don't really care about getting those, but the first three I really liked. I uh, was real happy to get this. Found this at, uh, I've seen this at Walmart uh, for like five bucks. I had to get it. It's one of my favorite comedies, Billy Madison. Uh, one of Adam Sandler's greatest comedies, in my opinion. I think it's, this movie is hilarious. I laugh from beginning to end at this movie. I never get tired of watching it, and it's one that my, me and my daughter like to watch together. <clears throat> one of my favorite martial art movies from the 80s. Uh, it stars Rutger Hauer. It's called Blind Fury. This movie is awesome. If you've not seen this, track this down, rent it, do whatever you got to do to watch this. It's excellent. Uh, got the 20th anniversary special edition of Stephen King's Children of the Corn. I told you I got a lot of Stephen King movies in this update, and this is another one. Uh, this has a ton of special features with it. Well, I wouldn't say a ton of special, but it, it does have quite a bit of special features with it. And I was real happy to get this finally. Um, I love this movie. This movie scared the crap out of me as a kid. <laughs> so, check it out. Another uh, classic from the 80s there. Uh, Charles Bronson's Death Wish. Uh, actually, not 80s. This movie actually came out in the 70s. All the sequels came out in the 80s. But, uh, found this at the flea market for $2.00. Excellent movie. Got this at the pawn shop the other day for two dollars. Another excellent film, District Nine. Great sci-fi action movie. I have not watched this yet. Um, I actually got this from my cousin. He gave this movie to me. It's called Frankenfish. Uh, I've heard a lot of people talk about it. It's cheesy, it's, but it's good cheese. It's just a fun horror movie to sit back and have, have a good time with. So uh, I'll, be, I'll, I'll definitely be checking this out here real soon. <clears throat> I had these on VHS, but I finally, wanted, I finally got them on uh, DVD. Uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Uh, I mean, who hasn't seen Ghostbusters? Two, great, two of the greatest 80s uh, comedy slash action films from uh, the 80s. Uh, I'm sure everybody out there, most everybody has seen Ghostbusters. I was always a fan of that series, of the cartoon series and the movie series. Uh, picked up uh, Grand Torino, found this at the flea market for $2. Um, awesome movie, one of Clint Eastwood's latest and one of his best, in my opinion. Uh, he just, Clint never fails to impress me. Seems like he, the older he gets, the better he gets. And uh, this is just another great, great classic. And last but not least, I gotta give a shout out to my buddy Movie John75. Uh, I give him a lot of VHS movies, so in return he give these to me. Lucio Fulci's House by the Cemetery. I did not have this. I used to have it at one time on VHS. I gave it to Melvin Scott Gregg. Uh, finally got it on DVD again. Uh, love Lucio Fulci's movies. Uh, so real happy to get this House by the Cemetery. Got this one from Movie John too. The Hatchet Murders. Uh, also known as Deep Red, Dario Argento's Hatchet Murders. Uh, it's been a while since I've sat down and watched this. I need to sit down and watch it again, which I'll be doing here soon. Just wanted to give a shout out to my buddy Movie, uh, Movie John 75. If you've not checked out his channel, uh, then what are you doing watching my page? Get over to his page and check him out. But uh, <laughs> so that's it for today, folks. Um, be sure and tune in. I'll be doing a lot more here later, here soon. I'll be giving a tour of my uh, my toy room, you could call it. I got movies, posters, uh, toy, uh, just all kinds of stuff in there. I'll be giving a quick tour of that. Kind of similar to what uh, movies, what uh, uh, my buddy Scott did on his page. Uh, so I'll be sure and tune, check that out, and I'll see you guys later.